Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com, and this is a, a quick look, a quick, a quick video on the final assembly of the uh, gas-powered RC airplane. So I've completed this whole thing; it's all done, and it was quite a project. Uh, it took me quite a few hours to get it done, even though it was already 90% uh, assembled in RTF uh, and, and, and ARF, almost ready to fly. So, but it's all done. I've calibrated, I've tested it. I've, as far as I could test it without flying it, as far as you're supposed to test it. I've got everything I need. I've got the fuel over there, that's the pink jug you can see. Uh, the transmitter, all the parts, everything's good to go. So, you know, it's a fun project. And the thing is about five feet wide by a little over four feet in length. It's a, so if you can see compared to my hand there, that's a pretty big, it's a pretty big airplane. So um, the next video will be probably uh, flying it, launching it, just setting it up, getting it going. So uh, let me, I'm going to just show you a little bit of the final parts of this, the servos inside, the, uh, which are the little mechanisms that actually control all the controls on it, like the carburetor and the ailerons and the rudder. And I will show those in action where I use the transmitter to work the various parts, the various mechanical parts. So this has been a blast. It's been a fun project. After this, I am going to be moving on to a very serious airplane. I'm going to do with some kind of a military air aircraft, maybe a, a Mustang or something like that. And I'm going to do that from scratch. I'm going to build the whole thing, the frame and everything, so that'll be a long-term project, but a lot of fun. So here, so take a look at some of the inside, some of the final parts that I've done uh, in building this. Instead of installing the normal on-off switch, I installed this neat little dual setup switch. <clears throat> and what it is, is this is nice for the on and off of the plane, which is a little better than that little slide toggle. But uh, also, a nice thing about this switch is, is it has a little charger port so what you can do is plug your charger right into the plane like this and charge it up without having to take the wings off to get in there and charge up the battery pack so I really like that setup. Okay I'm going through an interesting process right now where I've connected up everything uh, electrically and now I'm doing something called centering the servos and what that does is <clears throat> you set everything on your transmitter to zero, your zero position and without the control horns hooked up to any of the servos, you just uh, turn it all on and those servos will find their zero position and that's balance. So now, after I've done that, let me take a look. I see I have, this, I have the control horns, these little stars, disconnected. And turning it all on like that, these servos find their zero position. They rotate and find their zero. So now the those, so all of the controls will be at a neutral position in comparison to the transmitter. So now that I've done that and it all went well, now I can hook up these control horns right exactly in zero so everything will be balanced. Okay, I've just about finished, uh, I am well actually finished with this uh, airplane and now I'm going through all the settings of the different controls. So and I'll show you all the controls that work now and uh, let me turn, I'm going to turn the transmitter on and then I'm going to turn the receiver in the airplane on. So now all these servos and everything's ready to go. So I'm going to show you a couple of things here. Uh, see now this is this controller here. Now let's try another controller. Now this one for the rudder also controls the wheel on the front of the airplane. So yeah, so right around the wheel are in sync, so when you're making turns. Now, take a look at the carburetor. This control operates the throttle. So if you can look right inside the carburetor there, you can see it opening and closing. See it? And then the final control is the ailerons here on the, on the uh, wings. You can see them. So all these controls are working really well, and now I'm just going to fine tune it, tune it so it's perfectly straight for everything. And I'll put this together, and we'll take one last look at the airplane in its final configuration. And hopefully, I'll get to start it up a little bit, but won't be long now, and I'll do some flying with it to get some good videos. Thanks.